What's up, you guys? It's Paul Maxi, and I am playing Atari 5200 Berserk. And man, I did not have the 5200 back in the day, but 1983 was really rewarding some players with some excellent games for people who still had their 5200. Problem is, they were still dealing with a tough controller. But man, I have the answer for that. I think you, I've shown you guys this before. I've got this device. I bought it on eBay. I think a, a key word to look up would be Master Play for uh, 5200. It kind of plugs into the 5200 and um, it has these buttons so you can hit Start is A, B is Pause, C is Reset, D, not sure. This usually changes game options. And this usually changes uh, how many people, how many numbers of players. And for games like Berserk, Dig Dug, Joust, most of them, you don't need to do any adjusting. You just, it's ready to go. And man, Berserk plays incredible when you're using this. Now I usually place an Atari 2600 in there so I can really feel like I'm playing Atari. And you know... Uh, an Atari 2600, 2600 joystick is the way to go. But when I was playing Berserk today and a little Joust and Dig Dug for 5200, I went ahead and plugged a Sega Genesis controller in. So you have a nice joystick, just like if you were in the arcade, and the middle button, B, is what activates the fire. And I'm pretty much good to go like the arcade, man. And it really delivers. Now, here's a little clip of something from the documentary called Chasing Ghosts. I didn't, um, that will go ahead and plagiarize. In business suits over there, play a game called Berserk. What a winner does is they find something that they can do well, and they just do it over and over and over. And uh, that's where you get your specialist at. Well, I became a specialist in Berserk. In Berserk, uh, you are a humanoid and you are just running through this very simple maze and there are these robots who don't like it. What happens is a lot of robots appear on the screen and you can't move your humanoid and they're shooting at you and you just gotta pray that joystick will kick in. Intruder alert, intruder alert. Delta humanoid. Also a nemesis, evil auto. It's a stop sign. Stop sign, smell it. If he pounces on you, he kills you. When somebody smiles and yet wants to kill you, that is the ultimate and in, in, he's a maniac. In the game of Berserk, there are 64,000 room combinations. Well, no one had figured that out yet. I mapped out every room, every combination. I was on the top. But if you don't have someone to help you go even higher, you wane. Yes, sir. That is footage from a documentary called Chasing Ghosts. I own it. I paid for it on uh, Amazon Prime. It's on Amazon Prime. A cool movie about uh, video games and stuff um, that us old guys can appreciate. Anyway, I can't get over... Because I didn't have this back in the day, the 5200. I had the 2600. So you start playing some Berserk on the 5200 and with a device like I have where you can use either a 2600 controller or plug in a Genesis controller and now, well damn, you're playing like an arcade quality experience. So I'm going to go ahead and show it. Hit game start. I'm using my joystick here. And it's awesome, man. I know that if I hold my fire button down, I can rotate the stick and aim my gun without moving my character. It plays great. I mean, maybe a little sluggish. It's got the voice. I would have been really stoked to be some rich... Oh, damn. To be some rich kid and... I mean, 5200 wasn't that expensive, but I didn't have it. It's not like my parents 
1982 were like, guess what, kids? There's a new Atari, and you have to have it, because we want our kids to have the best. Hell no. I went to my friend Nicky's house, and he had a couple games for 5200. Mainly, we played uh, Joust, because it was a two-player co-op game, and I couldn't get enough of it. I also couldn't get enough of Nicky's dad's magazines that he kept in his dad's bathroom. <laughs> and I would be checking those things out. I don't want to say the title. But Nicky would be like, lunch is ready, what are you doing up there? And I was like, oh, just don't worry about me. I was getting a visual education. But that's a different story for a different time. Look at this berserk, man. Now my high score is around 10,000 something. And I just love it. Very arcade quality here. Especially with my joystick. I'm not having any controller issues. If I don't beat the game, I'm not blaming anything but me. You can even shoot their shots and stop their shots in mid-air, which is... I think I just shot him once it comes unfrozen. Yeah. Well, you can't shoot this guy. You can in the sequel, Frenzy. The, f the sequel to Berserk is called Frenzy, and you can shoot a couple times the smiley face. But he gets harder and harder and really gets chases you down. This is everything, man. This is... If I can enjoy this, what, 83... Some 40... I don't know. I mean, 37 years later... I have to do the math, <laughs> All these years later, 38 years later, whatever it is, if I can be all stoked on this and ignore my PS2 and PS3 games, not to mention other... I mean, they're doing something right. Oh, damn. Whoever worked on Berserk for Atari 5200, does he know that I'm a 50-year-old man who has to go to work tomorrow, but is taking the time to play it and enjoy it? I really do like the 2600 version. They did as, It's great, but you don't get the variety of mazes like you do for this 5200 version. It doesn't look like I have any spare men, so... Let's see if I can survive. I think till 5000 might get me one. I'm going to play careful. Look at all the enemies on the screen. 5200 was a fine machine. It was the controllers that hampered it. But I'm in fine shape playing this with an arcade joystick. And my, my 2600 joystick would be great too. I'm closing in on five grand. Can we get an extra guy at that? Uh-oh. Oh, I got shot in the head. Wow. Berserk for the Atari 5200. I know there's a lot of big fans out there. Last time, years ago, when I put up a video of 5200 Berserk, it got a lot of views. Like, that's a big game. Makes me wonder if I should play again, but what would be the point of that? I think you get it, man. Berserk for the 5200, it's perfect. But you really need to have some kind of modern device that allows you to play with at least a 2600 joystick. If not, I saw something that is appearing on um, the Atari web uh, Facebook pages and stuff. Some kind of 5200 device uh, controller that looks like, you know, you kind of hold it with two hands and it's got all the buttons. I mean, there's ways around the controller issues, so look into it if you have a 5200. I need a 2600, uh, 5200 trackball still. It's kind of like a, what do they call it, a pipe dream? I mean, I don't need it to live, but... Eh, before my life's over, I'll have one of those. All right, you guys, have a good night. I'm going to play some more Berserk. All right, peace.